Alpha Registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamid was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. 
everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief, comes unstoppable force. Then come this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. on the horizon a new day soon to break and when it does the false sun king will be dead and holy meridian ours once more in this i have become an instrument of prophecy all halves of nature join to one cause shadow to sun light to dark night to day Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows just 
beaks, proud in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! charge.
kill her. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little bit man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun when we get high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn Bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah!
quietly.
so much for being careful. Never know when I might need these. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through.
mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Braves, to Aloy's side! Now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive.
remember. Should have brought a cart. God does protect you, Satan. May she protect the Sith of us. How did we come to this? How will we survive? Aloy, your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. Had it returned, the tribe would have been lost. Seeker. Just in time, Seeker. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God has be praised. The braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand, but they were too much for us. 
those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decisions saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. The matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Returned. Teb? All mother help me to be temperate and wise. Do not let me succumb to Aloy! You've come back! The seeker has returned. Come. Speak to us. Foolish woman. You welcome a curse. Come, seeker, we have much to discuss. Her very prick. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the Proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Were you were made. <sighs> S 
So these are... So this was it. Where you were born. But, but why? These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. painted on. How long do they live here? Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke me in rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run a jump and go off steam. but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. Someday! That's what you always say! We want it now! It's big down there! Now, Father! Children. That area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it.
for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today... Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Learn. Now Sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. This admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis. The fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. 
While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them, in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. 
I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed of the Nora. Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy! Way, that she may forge the path for others to follow. The Anointed will cleanse the corruption beyond the Sacred Land. She's earned my faith ten times over. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the Goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story, why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then... As suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. 
There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. But... I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with All Mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was... delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a Death Seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception after all he did all he suffered to be declared an outcast was his reward rost was overjoyed he never expected to live another day in the sacred land let alone the embrace so close to the goddess he resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude and was happy to do so but then you found me Gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? 
I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years, and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. She is our mother's blessing made flesh. She will destroy the corruption that still spreads through the world. My life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing. Not a curse. We were so unsure. The I know your quest is dangerous, Aloy. But all mother will protect you. I don't think it works that way, Jezza. All mother has blessed your journey. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly. You still don't. I don't think you can, Lanzra. Forgive me. Off your knees, Lanzra. Start living on your feet with your eyes open. In all my years, I have never seen anything like that. Aloy, how did you do that? You entered the heart of the mountain. It seems you have a special role to play in events. The goddess favors our you. Our fallen tribespeople call out for justice. The killers will answer the Tuar for what they've done. To be alive at the time of the anointed. I think my place is here. Closer to home. That was... To the I've never seen anything like that. But I wish you well. I am blessed by your presence, Commander. I am humble. You bless us all. To have heard the words of the goddess. I am the You have proof the goddess is not the Proof of the goddess's love for us. The goddess speaks through you, Lenore. Your proof of the goddess's love for us, Lenore. 